What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we've come out to Beely Moor, which can only really mean one thing. Fun life. So a lot of our subscribers should recognise this spot. We only ever come out to Beely Moor when we've got something to tell you about van life. We've always got a nice little quiet park up where we don't typically get disturbed. Uh, and that's exactly what we're here to tell you about today. Now, there's been a lot of comments, there's been a lot of rumours kicking about where's Merlin, where's the van? And this is the video when we're finally going to tell you. So uh, it wasn't a particularly easy decision, but after about a year or so of ownership, um, we slowly came to realize that Merlin wasn't quite the right fit for us. It wasn't quite the right fit for the channel. Um, and so we made the unfortunate decision. It was a really hard decision, um, but we did in the end, end up selling Merlin. October 2021 was when we finally sold Merlin. He went to a loving home to an old man, so he's very much well looked after. And not too long after that was when we found our new van. So after many months of not having a van on this channel, without further ado, and we're keeping the name, this is Big Merlin. Now, I know what you're thinking, we bought a builder's van, nice one, but this is inside our massive new van. And we thought the best way that we could show you the pros and cons is by comparing it to the old one. It's freezing out there today, so we're gonna sit in the cab. <laughs> so Big Merlin is a long wheelbase, high top transit van. Uh, it's a diesel van as well, so it's quite different to the older one and it's the biggest vehicle I've ever driven. So put it up on screen, let's go over the pros and cons of the smaller van versus this massive one. So Old Merlin was packed full of character and it's probably something Big Merlin might not ever live up to, but we always wanted to take Old Merlin to our wedding because it's such a romantic vehicle. He did look pretty smart on our wedding day uh, with his shiny chrome rims. Um, but we do plan on kitting out this van as well as best we can. We might even respray it, get some chunky tires on there, make it into an ultimate adventure vehicle. So for me, I'm the captain of Merlin and for driving the old van, it was a doddle. It was a much smaller van, it was a short wheelbase, and it was covered in glass. There was windows 360 degrees round, so I had great views when I was driving and navigating. This van does not. So one of the cons to the old van was it did not have power steering. It was made 30 years ago, uh, and it felt like I was turning an 18-wheeler every time. In fact, at this exact location on one of our older videos, we probably did about a 32 point turn just to turn around and get back out of the road again. Big Merlin does have power steering, so hopefully it should be a lot easier to drive. So one of the biggest issues we had with the old van was reliability. Um, he didn't always start first time. Big Merlin, however, first time, every time. So as you can imagine, finding parts for a 30 year old van is incredibly difficult. And in some cases we had to purchase from Europe and even then some of it wasn't right. With us now owning a van that was built in 2012, parts are gonna be a hell of a lot easier to come by. Uh, in some cases, a lot of garages will just stock transit parts and get them in same day or overnight. So it's gonna put us in a much better position should anything go wrong. Hopefully it doesn't though. So Old Merlin was quite small and it didn't have a lot of room in him for the things that we wanted out of van life. 
And we always said in a lot of our older videos, we were gonna get a transit van. We're gonna buy like a transit van and kit it out ourselves. Our main plan was to always try and get a big van, an empty van as a blank canvas, so we could do what we want with them, which is a beautiful segue to show you the inside of this van. So one of the cool things about the old van was that it had a permanent low roof. It had a pop top, which was great when we parked up. I could, I could stand up in it. Um, Big Merlin is a permanent high top, so I can completely stand up in it. I've got plenty of head clearance, which is great. The only negative with that is we might have to pick and choose where we park, especially anywhere with height restrictions. But hopefully, living in the van should be a lot nicer. So having all the windows in Old Merlin was amazing. You got amazing views and it was perfect for sunsets, but there was a downfall to it. Uh, overnight it got absolutely freezing, so uh, there was no insulation in that half of the van whatsoever, so we definitely felt it. So that's why we're having one or two windows just in the van for our new van. So one of the biggest gripes with the old van was the, the bed. The bed. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty bad. Um, it was like putting, uh, well, it was basically like Tetris every night. It took us the best part of 20 minutes. The front mm. seats had to be rolled down. We had to get all the cushions in the right place. And even then it was pretty lumpy and mumpy. It yeah. wasn't great. So one of the biggest things that we wanted to do with this new van is have a semi-permanent bed set up that we can get into every night in just one step instead. <laughs> <laughs> now, being as we haven't actually started any structural work on our van just yet, we thought we'd show you what our van might roughly look like using van space. This isn't sponsored content and van space don't know that we're making this video, but their 3D van editor tool has really helped bring our vision for Big Merlin off the notepads and into virtual reality. We're planning to have everything from a large semi-permanent bed a full kitchen and worktop area, a desk and eating area with views out the windows. We're even putting in a full wet room, including a hot shower and a toilet. So we're fully contained with our own facilities inside the van. As you can see, we want our van to essentially be a tiny home on wheels. We're gonna try and finish him to the highest possible standard that we can. We have no set finish date for the van, but we estimate it might take upwards of a full year to fully build out. And we hope that you are looking forward to seeing him come together on the channel. So although you might not be able to tell, we have already started to do some of the work on the inside of the van. Yeah, we already started to do some of the prep <laughs> we already started to do some of the prep work, including the sound ending pads, so we'll skip to that footage now. So it's day one, job one, and the goal for today is to take all the old wooden panelling off, see what's underneath, uh, give all the metal a good wipe down so it's nice and clean, and then we've got a nice foundation to build everything else on top of, so let's see what we've got. So taking off some of the wood panelling has revealed some, just sort of some surface rust really. It's nothing too horrendous. There's nothing that's like structural. Um, we picked a really good van that's in really good nick. So um, we're quite lucky, but we're still gonna apply some rust, uh, anti-rust paint to this as well, just so it's um, preserved for the next few years. Here she is. Turn up for work, have you? Yeah. About time. <laughs> um, the next thing that we're gonna do is pull up this floor. Um, it's quite a high quality floor that we've got with it. It's already waterproof and sealed. So we'll probably keep it, uh, but we wanna make sure that the metal underneath is fine. So we're gonna clean that up as well. So the floor's gonna come up now. Right, we're gonna leave it there for today. I think um, we've basically 
cleaned out the entire van uh, all the walls have come off we've lifted the floor up and then every surface has had a full wipe down um, so it's a nice blank canvas for the next stage now just to paint the cross spots <laughs> yeah next up we're going to cover any rust areas with some anti-rust paint Okay, so not too bad. Um, we basically just put this uh, paint on every little tiny splodge of rust that we can see. It's one of those things where when you see one bit, you see multiple around it, and before you know it, it's, it's everywhere. So um, we've done pretty good coverage. Obviously, it doesn't matter what this is going to look like at this stage because all of the bare metal is going to get covered up anyway. But we just want to make sure that every little bit of rust or exposed metal that could turn into rust is covered with this stuff. Um, so we'll probably finish this up off camera. Um, it's gonna take a few hours to dry as well. We might do it a second pass, but otherwise, Did not bad. Right. Yeah, not bad. So that's it guys, the cat is out of the bag. This is our brand new van. This is Merlin, the big transit. Hopefully you like him. Um, we realize it's not quite the same as our old van and it, the old van will be sorely missed, but we believe this is the best choice for us yeah. to really enjoy van life in the way that we always wanted to. Um, it's also going to help us go much further for much longer in much more comfort as well. And also not to forget that it also brings along new content for the channel. We're hoping to do a bit of van conversion videos integrated with our regular Peak District videos. So you should expect some of that. So guys, uh, just a little quick update video for you today. Uh, we just wanted to introduce the new van, Big Merlin, and I hope that you uh, have enjoyed seeing him for the first time. Um, we are gonna escape Beely Moor because the winds have come in yeah. <laughs> pretty sharpish. Uh, it's very windy and blustery up here. Um, but next time you see us, we'll be back out in the Peak District again uh, with some of our regular content. <laughs> So if you're excited for van life videos or if you're excited for the Peak District, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces and you are ready for more van life content on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And that way it will guarantee that you'll see us in the next one. Bye. Peace.